Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is the Bass God. Um, I've been looking at all the subwoofers and all you guys' opinions about the types of subs that I should get. Uh, I've looked at the DS18s, the Sundowns, the ZV4s, the NSV4s. I looked at DC Audio, the American Bass, uh, Resilient Sounds. Um, what else? What else is out there? The Crescendo Contralto series, I think. Um, and some other ones, too. Uh, and I took them all into consideration. And I was more leaning towards almost the DS-18 or the DS-15s. Um, but just, just something about those subs. Just the, I don't know, maybe just the color and um, the specs on those subs just don't feel right with me. Um, I looked at the ZV, the NSV4s, those, the mountain depth is too, it's too big, so I can't use ZV4s or ZV5s, so Sundown is completely out of the picture. Uh, my mounting depth on, in my wall, is 12 inches deep total, alright, so I have a, I have a maximum of about 8 cubic feet on my sealed side, so that's basically what I have to go with, but... Um, the subs I am going to go with, uh, and this is my final decision, um, are the FI SP4 V2s. Um, and the reason why I'm going with those is because, one, I've had experience with those subs before. Um, they can definitely handle some power. And the ones, the SP4 V2s, uh, those are 3500 power handling RMS. And that is exactly what I need for my 15Ks, you know. So that's what, 3912, that's 13, 14,000 watts right there. And my 15Ks, you know, they can do over 15K, so that's perfect for these subs. But I'm definitely going with the SP4 V2s uh, with the fully loaded, with the hybrid uh, tensils where I can use bolts. I'm going to be using 4 gauge uh, speaker wire. I got 8 gauge in there now with some 4 gauge. Um, just the eight gauge going to the amp just because of the size, but I'm gonna get some, um, I'm gonna get some tinsel like converters, like from four to eight or eight to four or something like that. But the band hammers, I'm going to sell these. Uh, I'm selling these. These are my new ones right here. These are the ones that's new. These are probably not even a year old, probably about 10 months, almost going on a year. And they're like still, they're basically still new. These subs right here. Uh, these are my older ones. I took these out because something uh, happened to them. Uh, three of them. Three of the four of them. These are the ones that blew. The voice coils were getting too much power going to them. There was 2,000 watts RMS. Um, and they had too much power going to them. And they blew. And the coils, they just freaking came unraveled. Um, as y'all can see here. And if you look at my coils I mean it's still gold nothing wrong with them just too much power so and these are the other three right here there's nothing wrong with this one let me see see that sound right there that's a coil problem Okay, it's this one right here. So it's these two. These two right here and the one that I've take, taken off already. All right, these are the two that's messed up. This one right here, this one is completely fine. So I'm going to sell this one. This is going to be 300 shipped. And I'm selling my other four, the ones that's good. These are like practically new. There's nothing wrong with these. I can guarantee you that one. Uh, those are 300 ships. I'm selling five of them 300 ship if you want these All right, I'm doing these 200 uh, Plus shipping well 300 plus shipping and 200 plus shipping um, Those that is the motor right there if you just want the motors uh, the motor to be 150 plus shipping So I'm definitely selling on my bad hammers 
and I'm going with the SP4 V2s. I think they'll be perfect because the mounting depth on the SP4 V2s are 11 inches. So that gives me about one inch of depth and the recommended sealed is two to 3.5. So two to 3.5 right there. So that is gonna be perfect for what I'm trying to get out of those subs. So I'll definitely be uh, in for a nice little break when it comes to bass because you know FI takes forever to build subs and I'm gonna be using some of the money that I make off of these and add these on to what I'm gonna get for the SP4s just to make things a lot easier. I'll take some some uh, edge off my pockets. But um, yeah, that's the final decision. SP4 V2s, might be the SP4 V V2 Plus. I don't know, I'm gonna look at those too and see what's so different between the two. But that's my decision. Y'all guys tell me what you think about it. If y'all think that's a good decision, I think it's a good decision. I ran that fine and I've never had a problem with those subs, especially when it comes to them taking power. And it's 1500 more RMS, and I definitely think it's gonna be a different ball game with those subs in these 440, especially with the SP4s. So, you guys got any questions? Hit me up.